Hi Spartans, thank you for joining me today as I share with you some important information on working while you're a student. My name is Yajade Hicks and I am the Student Employment Coordinator for UNCG. My role is housed in the Student Employment Office located in Career and Professional Development. The Student Employment Office manages the student employment process by connecting students with on and off campus opportunities, assisting the Financial Aid Office in managing federal work study awarding and spending, verifying students' work eligibility by processing I-9s and all other hiring documents, and serving as a resource and advocate for prospective and current student employees. My role is housed Some of the main reasons why students choose to work on campus is to earn money, to support school expenses, to get hands-on experience related to their major or to add to their resume, to expand their network of resources and to develop skills that can help make them more competitive candidates while applying for internships or jobs after graduation. There are two classifications of student employees, federal work study and non-federal work study, also known as departmental hourly. Students with federal work study awards are paid monthly based on the hours that they work, not to exceed the total amount awarded for the year, whereas departmental or hourly students are paid monthly for the hours that they work and they do not have a pre-awarded salary. Departmental hourly positions are not based on financial need. It is funded by individual departments. The hiring department determines, determines the work start and end dates, as well as the compensation for the position. And departmental or hourly students cannot exceed 28 work hours per week. Federal work study student employees operate under different guidelines than departmental hourly employees. The federal work study program is a federal grant funded program that provides need based su financial support through part time student employment. Federal work study students cannot hold more than one work study position but they can simultaneously hold a departmental hourly position and a federal work study position. Students who are awarded federal work study are not guaranteed a position. Federal work study student employees cannot work more than 20 hours per week. Students must reapply for their federal work study award via their FAFSA. Receiving a Federal Work Study Award does not affect the other scholarships or grants on your financial aid package. Due to limited funding, not all students who qualify for a Federal Work Study Award will receive funding. Are you wondering how to find a job? First, you will need to know if you are eligible. To be eligible for student employment, you must first be registered for six degree-seeking credit hours and complete your FAFSA. When completing your FAFSA, you will have the option to select whether you are interested in work study. Once you confirm your financial aid package, you can verify the status of your federal work study eligibility with the financial aid office. After you complete SOAR, you will have access to our internal resume building and job board site, VMOC and Handshake. Once you have an approved resume and cover letter 
on Handshake, then you can search and apply for jobs. If you need assistance with developing your resume, we have a few options you can try. VMock, where you can receive automatic feedback and suggestions on how to improve your resume. Meeting with the coach on our career development team. Appointments for meetings with career coaches can be made via handshake or by calling career and professional development. Or you can come to our drop-in hours where coaches and peer career ambassadors can assist you. When applying for jobs in Handshake, here are a few things to keep in mind. If you do not currently have access to Handshake, you should gain access about two to three weeks after completing SOAR if you are registered for classes. You will need to have a resume and possibly a cover letter submitted to VMOC and Handshake before you can apply to jobs. If you are looking for a specific type of job, you can use the filter on Handshake. For example, for federal work study jobs, you would filter FWS to find those positions. If you are not looking for federal work study jobs, you can use the filter to search through the on and off campus positions to find jobs with the specifications that you are looking for. Although the Handshake system is specifically for UNCG students and alumni, applying does not guarantee you a job. It is important to remember that the volume of positions fluctuate throughout the year so, if you do not move forward in one position, we encourage you to remain hopeful as there will be more positions available throughout the year. So, what do you do after you get the job? After you receive confirmation that you will be hired, you will need to Confirm your Federal Work Study Award if you're hired in a Federal Work Study position. Complete the I-9 process and set up direct deposit and tax information. The I-9 process for our university is electronic. The two options for completing the undergraduate I-9 process are remote and on campus. For students completing the process remotely, your supervisor will need to contact Student Employment to request a remote link. Once you receive the link, you will need to complete page one and an authorized representative will need to complete page two. Students who choose to complete the process on campus will first need to make an appointment via Handshake. Once your appointment has been approved, you will receive a link to complete page one and you will need to bring your verification documents to your appointment so that our office can complete page two. Please keep in mind that all verification documents must be original, not photocopies. Visit our webpage for detailed information on how to complete the I-9 process remotely or on campus. If you need additional support with your employment process, please feel free to reach out to any of these departments. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to the Student Employment Office. I'm always more than happy to assist you.